this morning so I just launched my MVP and I got absolutely roasted so in this video we're gonna dive into what the hell I got roasted on why I got roasted some of the feedback and then uh, some of the roadmap of what's next but I'm feeling a little squirrely at my house right now and the best way and if y'all are working from home the best way to combat that squirrely just get the heck out of your house so let's go to the coffee shop probably post up in a park and uh, yeah so let's go fun drink required <laughs> Let's talk about this uh, startup MVP that got absolutely roasted. So if you don't know, check out the last video. I just published my MVP, which by the way, I got rejected several times by uh, test flight because I didn't uh, meet compliance. And if you didn't know, as part of compliance, you need to provide a login, assuming your app has a login. You have to give them a dummy password and email to get into your app. And uh, that way they can do what they need to do to test the app to make sure it's safe or whatever. And yeah, I forgot to check the box and give them a user. So got rejected, had to wait basically another day, but we are finally up and running. I had to buy an Android device just to get this thing on the Play Store. So that was a little ridiculous. And uh, if y'all don't have developer accounts for Android yet, just know that to get on the Play Store, you have to have a real Android device. So either do what I did. I went into Walmart and bought one of those uh, track phones, smartphones. I think it was straight talk. It was $30. So I went and bought one of those, didn't buy any kind of minutes or anything for it, just so I could put it on my Wi-Fi, verify I have a real device, and which took all of 10 seconds. But that was an absolute freaking requirement to get published out onto the Google Play Store. So it is what it is. It's a good low spec device just to do some extra testing. And uh, I think it'll be helpful anyways. But what, what a freaking annoying thing to have to do. Go spend $30 just to verify you are a real human and it's a real app uh, on a real Android device. So I did try the Android simulator. I did try to hack around it, but uh, clearly they're smarter than I am and they are to protect that. But check out this cute little cozy spot here. We have uh, the water. Oh, here, let me turn the F-stop down. We have the water. We have some ducks over there. Hold let me just flip you around. We got water, we got ducks. We are at the park, posted up, ready to dive into today's work and uh, get after some code today. So yeah, my MVP got absolutely freaking roasted. And uh, a lot of the comments were actually good comments to have. They were things like, oh, I didn't understand that. So for example, on that project screen, I showed you all in the demo, you could click on a step. Uh, you were making a new project. You could add a step as part of the process you could click on the title of the step and change uh, you know, the details of it. And after you change the details, you have to click the little check mark icon to show you that uh, you know, you've confirmed that step. Well, I had several users tell me that the, they couldn't confirm any of their steps because I just don't think they understood to click the icon. And that's super valid feedback. And quite truthfully, it's kind of a, kind of a bad experience to have to just update the tiny little title it's silly that when you click the add new step button that you have to go and click the title to go and change it. Like it should just uh, pop open a keyboard, all those types of things. So super valid feedback, but yeah, absolutely got roasted. I had one person tell me that uh, the login flow was dog shit. Like literally they said dog shit. And uh, luckily it was a friend of mine and he was right. There was a lot of confusion that on the very first time you had to go in the app, you had to click the small little sign up text below the request code button to make a new account. And uh, yeah, it's not uh, the most friendly, but it, it works, right? So we're at a great point now where I published this MVP. I started to get it in real hands, started to get real feedback. And I'll tell you, that is the most important part. Get real feedback, start actually interacting with the users in a meaningful way, you know, more meaningful than just sending them emails and looms, but giving them a product, say, have fun, break it. Tell me everything that's bad about it. Tell me all the things you like about it. What do you wish it had? And you just won't get that type of experience unless you publish something. So I think that is the most important part. You can fix the bugs. You can fix the bad user flows. You don't want it to be like absolutely atrocious, but this is where I will tell you over and over and over again, you don't need to have this thing absolutely perfect before you deliver. You you just need to deliver. Delivering is the most important part. And I'll say it again, delivering is the most important part. And then it's, uh, it's the scariest, it's the hardest, it's the first big real hurdle that you have past just getting started to begin with. 
but man, what a relief off my shoulders. And now we get to do the fun stuff and start diving into the roadmap. And uh, I wanna let y'all in a little deeper, peel back this layered onion. I wanna let y'all a little deeper into where this project is headed. All right, so check this out. This is honestly pretty freaking sick. So I have told y'all in the past before that I will use ChatGPT, Claude, whatever, to mind map and work through my, you know, brain garbage, my, my uh, thought vomit, if you will, and just get it out on paper. And I'm a very visual person and, uh, I really struggle to just kind of keep it all up here and I need to get it out on paper. So what y'all just saw was something called Mermaid. Mermaid is just another language and you it's pretty sick because you can ask ChatGPT, you can ask Claude, whatever, to give you a mind map and ask it to specifically output it in Mermaid. And then you can go to mermaid.live, I believe the URL is. You'll see it in a link down below. You can just copy and paste it in and render it as the mind map y'all just saw and print it out on paper. So I really love it. And oh my goodness, the sun decided to come out and play. It was uh, really freaking cloudy over here a minute ago, but I love it because it allows you to, like I said, just brain dump, riff back and forth the chat GPT. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of that and just get it out on paper. And I guess this is a really great segue into telling you all where I wanna take this application because where we're headed with this app is I think gonna be super sick. So if you didn't know, there is a application called Jobber and Jobber is basically the one-stop shop for the business side of contractors. And what I mean by that is their main focus is on like invoices, customer tracking, customer journey, you know, maybe a little bit of a CRM or customer relationship manager. And I think that's super sick, but my target audience is not the general contractor. My target audience is that person who is building furniture, building cabinets, uh, the artisan, things like that. They're still having business. They're still selling products. They're still tracking customer journeys. They're still doing CRMs, but it is in a product and project focused view rather than invoice focus, which is what Jobber does. And Jobber, if you didn't know, just raised, I think like $175 million VC, which is huge. Like that's absurdly huge. They're doing, I believe, already billions of dollars worth of sales through the app. Obviously, they're not making billions of dollars of profit. Uh, they're profitable, but not billions. They're just taking a percentage fee of that. That's just the money they've moved through the app based off invoices. But it's not a good experience for somebody who's just trying to build products and have a product first business. It's really great for invoicing and tracking all those things. So I want to take Benchbox, and this is the first time I'm saying it here. I wanna take Benchbox and make that product for the business person in a product first focused. So and when I say product, I don't mean Benchbox as a product. I mean their projects as the product, something to where they can not focus on like the map where their customer lives, which is what Jobber does. And instead focus on things like, here's the steps I need to complete this piece of furniture. You know, they're making an, a table. They don't necessarily need to track where the customer lives and have it displayed on a map like general contractors where they're going to multiple customers a day that's just something they need to save the address and have access to it later uh, in an easy way. So it's a different target audience. And I think this is going to open up many, many avenues for where Benchbox is going. There are going to be multiple different tools. I want this thing to be a full suite of tools for the artisan, for the furniture builder, for the cabinet shop, for the small person working out of their garage like I was. And I want to start showing you some of that roadmap. So yeah, go ahead and do yourself a favor. Jump into ChatGPT ask for a mermaid output, go to mermaid.live, I believe it is, and just copy and paste, sync it, let it render something super beautiful and just print it out. And uh, I think this is gonna be super sick. I'm super excited to start diving into some of these bigger tasks. You know, I think one of the downsides of building the mobile app is it's difficult to balance not going so into the weeds and staying engaging enough, but giving you enough detail that you understand what the hell's going on. And it's difficult with a mobile app because there's not many like, big moving pieces. It's very minute, like single screens. Like, look at this thing I did on the screen. And over a while, I understand that just gets a, a little mind numbing to watch over and over again. So I think this will be a huge game changer for us. It'll be a freaking game changer on the channel because uh, it's just a lot of new tech, a lot of big moving pieces, a lot of intricate things. And uh, I'm very excited to share that with y'all. So this is where the roadmap is headed. 
we're gonna be integrating this like multi-tool product, the suite of all these products so that you can come here. I really hope maybe to even consider making Bench Box the merchant of record and allowing sales to go through this app. Lots of really cool stuff. But I think I'm tired of looking at a mind map. So we are going to dive back into the code because I need to fix some of the bugs that I got absolutely roasted on. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna dive back into the code finish my fun drink, uh, need to head home and make food for the family here soon. And with that, I will see you all next week. Peace.